Alright, hey guys, uh, I'm gonna try to make this video real quick. Um, pretty much I just wanted to showcase a script I wrote to essentially just make... Initially I made it to make modding easier, but it turns out it actually is surprisingly useful for things outside of modding. But, um, yeah, essentially you download it, put it wherever you want, and uh, right-click, run with PowerShell, and, uh, yeah, so it gives you the options. You can specify what directory you want to search through. So I'll give a few examples. Um, let's see. Let's, uh, yeah, let's use the default Witcher 3 directory. Um, let's use, yes, yeah, just use the entire directory. And I want to search for the string is stamina. Why not? And then, uh, WS. Uh, yeah, so file type. File type is, a uh, WS for which are three scripts, um, that's, but I'm assuming if you're watching this, you probably already know that, or if you're watching this in relation to, to, uh, Nexus mods, I'm sure you know that already. Um, but yeah, so, uh, the file type, I, you, you can put a period, you can just leave it as, as is, doesn't matter, it'll work either way. But yeah, so it gives you a list of all of the files that contain this string, list all the, uh, WS files in this directory that contain uh, our inputted string. And if we want, we can opt in to uh, see each of those specific lines. So uh, first thing you'll notice, there's some kind of awkward spacing here. Um, the reason for this is because uh, these files um, have a lot of tabs in them. And actually what I did in the script is I replaced all the tabs with just spaces to make this less annoying to look at. It's still kind of ugly, but it's it's an improvement. Um, but yeah, so, so like, oftentimes you won't actually get anything too useful out of out of uh, viewing the lines. However, pretty much the thought process is, say you have like 15 or so files, by, uh, by first looking at the lines, you can hopefully kind of deduce which ones are might be useful, which ones aren't. Um, like I said, oftentimes you won't really gather anything from it, but I figured it's a decent, in decent inclusion. Um, let's let's start over. Let's uh, let's choose something else. Uh, let's yeah, check out the C drive and users because that's where my desktop is. Uh, string. Um, I I like going to the climate gym. So let's see if there's anything in my users directory that contains the phrase climbing and let's search through text documents oh hey what do you know there are three files it's almost as if I planned this before I recorded it but um yeah so uh, let's speed these lines hmm ah interesting intriguing good info all right cool so I uh, also you can also enter uh, custom directories if that if uh if you don't want to worry about a shit ton of you know false positives or well, I guess false positive isn't the proper word, but if you know, if you want to just narrow down your results, um, so let's see here, absolute path, um, let's see, like C colon program files tools, the directory I made. That's normally where I keep my my tools I like to use, just to kind of keep up with things. Enter the string. Uh, let's just say, well. I've been messing with the Witcher a lot. Let's see if there's anything in here regarding the Witcher. The file type. Um, we did text documents. We did Witcher script uh, files. Let's just do an XML. All right, cool. We got four. Now we got four files, and looks like only two of them are actually related to the Witcher. But still, you uh, you get the point. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you, uh, you get the point. Um, it's pretty much all you need to do to actually configure this to have it to run on your system is uh, just right-click on it, click Edit, um, and just simply edit the uh, edit the, the file paths that that pretty much match your your system, your computer. Um, if you're only using this for uh, for messing with The Witcher Three, then I recommend. I wouldn't say recommend. Uh, shit. Um, the only thing that's required is this top one. However, I recommend doing all of them just because it's a useful tool. Um, hopefully, you uh, you agree or you saw 
But um, but to my knowledge, that should be all you need to do. Um, however, you will not be able to run it, um, at least by default, in PowerShell ISC. Um, that's because your execution policy is uh, set to restricted, or I'm assuming by default it's set to restricted. And so if you want to run it actually in uh, your ISC environment, um, all you really need to do is use the, use the command uh, set execution policy scope. We'll, we'll want to specify the scope as a current user. You can do local machine. You can do probably whatever you want here. But, um, I like current user. Um, also, I enjoy, I prefer scripting on ISC. Well, obviously, because it's a scripting environment. But I prefer just general PowerShell usage in ISC only because, um, as you see here, it tab, I, well, there's tab completion of both, but pretty much it gives you an option. You can see all your available um, commands, options, shit like that. Um, so execution policy, and then just set it to unrestricted. Yes to all. And then from there, I should be able to actually run it in ISE. But, but yeah, so it's, like I said, really simple. I probably drugged this video on too long. But, um, yeah, so you can either edit this with PowerShell, or honestly, if you want, you could even just edit it with Notepad. It's, a, it's uglier, but, I mean, it works. So, but yeah, hopefully this helped. And, yeah, farewell.